<laughs> Welcome to another Zany Bat video. Hey guys, it's Zany Bat. I am back with another DIY. Today we are going to be working on some skull lights. For this craft, you will need a hot glue gun, some extra glue sticks, a sharp knife or your exacto knife, because we're going to cut the styrofoam skulls. And I got purple lights from the same dollar store that I got everything else. And I'm just gonna set these off to the side and plug in my hot glue gun. Put your hot glue gun on something so it doesn't burn or get glue all over the place. And I will show you why I decided to do this. These skulls have these awful multicolored flashy lights. I do not like it. I would love for them to just stay purple. So the main concept behind this is customizing your, your decorations. Just pull the tags off of your skulls. They just pop right on out and get rid of those. <laughs> Here I'm going to show you what the lights look like on. And that's how your whole strand should look once you have all of the skulls on there. And I'm just going to run through really quick and quickly show you how I do it and then I'll break it down. and see, please be careful. This project can be messy and you will get glitter all over your hands like this. So my pattern is going to be black silver, black silver. And I'm counting my bulbs, knowing that I'm going to have about three to four bulbs per skull. So let's take this apart my hole look inside and it's hollow so my three bulbs two one for each eye try to shove those in there and we do not put hot glue directly on the bulbs I put it on the skull and then held it there until it cooled enough that it wouldn't move around everywhere. So here I'm showing you in slow motion putting the hot glue on the skull itself. Very carefully. Hold your bulb 
right where you want it. You don't want it sticking out too far. Just the, there you go. Just, just the light part you want sticking out. You don't want it to be too ugly. That's what they look like turned on. So you're gonna repeat those steps until you've used all of your garland. And here is the finished product. It's beautiful. Subscribe for more awesome tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And check out the links, yo!